Hello everybody, it is Toby here, back for another episode of Minecraft The Lord of the Rings Over Hill and last episode we got ourselves this awesome Dalish battle axe from the Dalish Merchant and we got loads and loads of more stuff that we can continue to adventure with and the sky is beautiful in this mod and we are going to continue today by heading down to Mickle Delving which was our quest from last episode, last episode we made it from uh, up in Overhill down to where we are now. Hopefully we'll be able to make it from uh, Mickle Delving all the way to Greenhome but I don't know if we can and of course in true Lord of the Rings fashion, Minecraft Lord of the Rings fashion that is, it has started raining just as we start the episode off but anyway we're going to continue doing our Lovely, lovely questing and stuff. Collect four cherries, except do we have cherries in our food pouch? Do we have four of them? We have six, good. No more quests for the goddamn cherries. There we go, come here. More, perfect. There we go, we're getting some good alignment. We need to pick up more stuff. And thank you guys so much for the support on this series. Every episode's getting loads of views. Wait, you wanted four cherries, yet you had one on the table. Oh, for goodness sake, anyway. I hope, I, I just, yeah, thank you guys for the support on this series, loads of lovely comments, loads of lovely uh, things, I shouldn't throw them on the floor there, you just shift clicked it, uh, but yeah, thank you for all of the lovely comments you guys give me, and all the lovely uh, feedback and likes, and yeah, this series gets a lot more views than any other videos I do on my channel, so I'm, I'm basically glad you enjoy it, so this is going to keep coming, and we got another invitation. Uh, let's see who this invitation is to this time, and we got a small pouch. We will keep the invitation. This time is to Took, uh, to the Aidlar Took. We don't want to hold on to that because we keep hold of that already. We got some more books and a small small pouch to keep there, and we will keep looking. Does this house have the infamous underfloor? Nope. No, it doesn't. But let's have a look what else we have. Lots of apples, yes please. We're all forever running out of apples. We don't want any of the pies or anything. Uh, mushroom pie we will hold on to. Pumpkin pie, chicken, steak, and cornbread. All stuff that we want to hold on to. And fish as well. Just stocking up our food supplies like we usually do. And yeah. We got uh, nothing here that we really need. Some lovely interior in this hobbit hole. I do like this one. But yeah, we're going to keep on our... Let's, let's actually sleep. We're going to keep on our quest down to Mickle Delving. Continue west on our venture out of the western borders of the Shire into Eriador. And yeah, we'll just keep going as we're going this episode and just see what we run into and what we can find. It's going to be very similar to probably last episode where we won't find too much. Uh, and we'll just keep going as we have been questing and that's basically what most of the series is going to be just us playing Minecraft the Lord of the Rings as raw as you could possibly get it so let's get in this windmill and see what people in here have to say hello hello no one up here let's steal your things more pipe weed yes please so we can obviously smoke we got another small pouch and a feather that means we can combine these two to get a medium pouch that is how it works, so we'll combine them and get a medium pouch. Thank you to commenter, to the commenter who did tell me that. That is really very helpful. Uh, one day I will remember your name. Today is not that day. Today is also not the day that the courage of men fails. But anyway, continue. Uh, there's another house up here. We're going to get distracted by many houses and see if we can do as many quests as possible. Get our alignment with hobbits up. For no other reason other than really it's fun because hobbits aren't too useful when it comes to alignment. But, I mean, you can obviously hire hobbit people to serve for you and stuff, but they probably aren't the most useful of beings uh, in Lord of the Rings. I mean, obviously, they can destroy a ring for you, but we don't have the one ring and we don't want to destroy it, so I think we're all good in that department. Let's keep heading sort of on the southwesterly road over to Mickle Delving and just see how far we get with our stops. Going to be lots of rambling and talking. We're going to stick with the hour long episode. Uh, no one complained about that on the last episode, so that's good. And yes, you'll probably notice this one's coming out a lot sooner than episode 2 did to episode 1. It's coming out literally right after episode 2, like the day after. So, but that's just because I have simply got more time, so. 
Why not release them in quick succession like this when I have time to record them in quick succession? If you have a problem with that, let me know. Uh, what else do we have to steal? Let's well, let's look. Oh, so we don't have any cooked pork chops in our food pouch anymore. Well, we'll stock them up. We got plenty of apples and stuff to complete quests, so that's all good. Uh, where'd the road go? Where is the road? Uh, it is north to us, so that's over here. Don't want to be losing the road, do we? That's one thing. Yeah, we definitely don't want to lose the road, so we want to head in this direction. Don't stray too far off the road, otherwise we will lose it. And have to refer to our map, which I don't really like doing. But, you know, we kind of have to, otherwise we will get lost. But yeah. We're just going through the rainy Shire. I mean, does the Shire really rain this much? I thought only England rains this much. But no, it's seeming an episode, in every episode we're going to have rain. That's just seemingly how it's going to be going. There's a house here that we're going to invade and pillage. Which is not... I'm, I'm, a, I'm a wanderer. I need food. This is... Des desperate times call for desperate me measures. No, we're not even really that desperate. Because, you know... We don't need too much stuff, but we're getting loads and loads of food and stuff to stock up on, which is brilliant. Fish as well. Didn't pick up those apples. Now we have. There we go. Goodbye, hobbits. Goodbye, goodbye. Let's continue on the southwesterly path on the road, which is just over here. And keep going. There's another house there. Let's go see this. This one's got a fence rather than a wall. Let's keep going. This is raining quite a bit. Come on, rain. Please stop. We got a quest. Three cherry pies. I don't have any cherry pies, so I'm afraid you're out of luck. My good woman. No cherry pies here, I'm afraid. But we have got string and paper. So I don't even know why we're collecting paper. Could come in useful sometime. Probably not, but we're going to collect it anyway. Uh, road, road. It's over here. And, yeah, we're going to be entering, where are we on the map? Well, we're approaching Mickledelving, that's quite good. We're getting there. We are making definite progress, which is good anyway. Got our, the ugly wanderer, me, back here. Still don't know why I'm the ugly wanderer, but I just, I just ran through a rabbit and it disappeared. Slightly odd. Very slightly odd. But we are making our way through the Shire. Let's hope we encounter some more travelling merchants and stuff of that aspect. Because last episode we encountered elves. Um, a guy who made my Isimimimento pouch. The Idon Dag Dr Dragger or whatever it was called. <laughs> yeah. And we found the Dalish person who got me this amazing battle axe, which I haven't got to use yet because we haven't encountered anything I want to kill. Because we're still in the Shire, so... I mean, when we get out into the greater world, it'll be good to chop things. But, yeah, as for now, we haven't really found anything we want to kill. Where are we? So we're literally right next to Mickledelving now. We will be entering the White Downs shortly. I sound like... I sound like I'm a train, like a train operative. Uh, our next stop is the White Downs. We are just passing through Mickledelving. We will be arriving shortly. But yeah, that's essentially what I'm doing. And I just, yeah. Okay, there's a tavern. That'll be a good place to look. This must be Mickledelving here. Yep, Mickledelving. We've just gone past uh, the waypoint for Mickledelving. So we got a tavern here. Let it, let us have a look at what this one's called. Prant this is a false prancing pony. The prancing pony is in Brie. This is a false. I'm going to come and claim loyalties on this prancing pony because it is false. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, okay. I don't want to anger hobbits. I've made a mistake. Well, it's a good, good opportunity to test the battle axe out. Oops. Don't throw plates willy-nilly. 
otherwise you cause bar fights with sheriffs. And don't throw pebbles with him either. Oh, we got a hobbit bone. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Oh, that's... I'm sorry. Okay. Don't try and talk to a sheriff whilst holding that. So we can buy... What can we buy? A mar hobbit marriage ring. Or some mushroom. Yeah, we don't really need to buy any of that, I'm afraid. But we will, will take the bread and the steak. That would be a nice thing to take. What do we have down here? In the cellar. We have got... Pumpkin pie, apples, venison, bread, rabbit, and, oh, pipe weed, we want pipe weed, oh, and apples, and venison, there we go, hello, hello, let's take a smoke real quick, there we go, sorted, and we only check the one side, oh, we got a quest, six apples, except my good friend, we have got six apples for you. We've got 29 in fact. Gorbalus would have no issue with us. There we go. There we go. So how many coins do we have now? We should have quite a few. Yeah, we got a decent amount. There we go. Quest complete. What do we have in here? Another sheriff. Hire. Ooh, can we... Oh, we can hire sheriffs! An amount of... Ooh. Ooh. Let's hire some... Should we hire some friends? Let's hire some friends. No, we don't want the food. We want the coin punch. Let's hire... How many coins do we need? Hire. 20. Should we hire... Requires 1500 alignment. Aww. Oh, no, it doesn't. Apparently. But we have... We have a friend. There we go. Well... <laughs> We have a friend. We've hired ourselves a friend. I know there was a request for that in the comments. So, hello, hello. Command. Replace equipment. Directives. Guard mode on. No. Squadron. Overview. Okay, there's not really much else we can really do. But yeah, we got a little... Should we give them, should we give them a dagger? Command, replace equipment, let's give you a dagger. There you go. <laughs> what are we doing? Like, really, we've got a little hobbit sheriff to follow us. Oh, we got a feathered hat, but no, we can't dye that, because it's not a normal hat. Follow me. Do they just follow? we got quests on quests on quests. Five cider we don't have. Can we get cider out of here? No, but there was a quest going down there that we can have a look at. Where did you go, Questy? Here. What do you want? Nine bread. Except we have got nine bread. We don't have nine bread, but we've got nine bread. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Thank you. Easy. We've already got back up. <laughs> I'm just going to have a hobbit following me now. This is the greatest thing. Let's hope it doesn't die. Hello, hello. Rude. Oh, that, that was another quest. Is that cider? Yeah, that's the cider, man. Let's go. Back to the road. Back to the... Yeah. Right, okay. Where is the road? Where is the road? It is south. So over... Ah, there it is. Well, we have we have our hobbit sheriff friend here. Uh, she's going to come with us and look after us. <laughs> Even though I've got a battle axe and she's got a dagger. But we're going to have a friend that hopefully is going to keep law and order around the place. This is this is the best thing ever. We have a friend. Alright, let's go. We are going to enter the White Downs on the Great East Road real soon. With our hobbit friend. Let's go, because after, oh, we go through the White Downs, and then we'll come out, and we'll go to Greenhome, then we go into Ariador, so, we hopefully will find some cool stuff on our way. I don't know what the White Downs are like, if anyone lives here or not, but. No, right. Chalk, Chalk and Dale, uh, Delvings, enter the White Downs, there's our friend as well. So, oh, okay, so the White Downs are literally just a big area made of chalk, Okay. Makes sense. Whoa! 
Okay, I can see why they're called the White Downs. They look very like the White Cliffs of Dover there. Right, let's go and have a look in this windmill and see what they have. Are we still being, yep, we've still got our friend. There we go. Let's take a let's take a screenshot of these cliffs. I might want to use it for a thumbnail. F1, F12. This is just what I do for screenshot. There we go. Sorted. That that might be our thumbnail. Might not be. I'm just gonna take screenshots throughout the episode. But I have to F1 it and stuff. Um, what do we have here? A Hardy Hobbit pipe. No, we don't want that. I want some of this stuff though. Pumpkin pie, chicken, and apples. Uh, we want to, yeah, open this one and put our stuff in. Can't believe we have a Hobbit Sheriff's bone in our backpack. Oh, yeah, right. No one needs to uh, know about that. That didn't happen. I can't believe we now have a little Hobbit Sheriff following us with our feathered hats. It's the greatest thing ever. It's going to die very soon. We need to we need to learn this person's name. We can't just call it it. Dora. <gasps> we have got Dora the Explorer. Follow me, Dora. We are exploring. Let's go. This is a really nice path, by the way, up on the top of the cliff like this, looking over the water. We've got a house up here as well. There's a little chalk boulder. And I wish it would stop raining. It really doesn't have to rain every single time we record an episode. But, oh, this is a tavern. We may have another tavern on our hands. It, it, we do. There's another tavern. That's really quite interesting. Which one is this? The Merry Dwarf. Well, let's see if we've got any Merry Dwarfs at home. I doubt it because we're in the Shire and they have hobbits, not dwarves. Oh, there's a bow. Ooh. I didn't want to just. We didn't want a hobbit pipe either. Don't want a knight in frame. But we have a bow. A hardy bow. Range damage 100. Let's put our bow next to our axe and move everything else down and out. Can we shoot our bow with arrows in the backpack? No. We don't have any arrows, so we'll, we need to get arrows. <laughs> I thought we had some arrows. There's another hobbit pipe on the wall. Is it better than the one we have? Hardy hobbit pipe, 1.25. We got a 1.5 times durability, so it's not better. Uh, some mushroom stew. There's a pig. So this seems to be a place that they just allow pigs to wander. We got a quest. Collect four books, except, come here. One, two, three, four. Let's go. Sorted. Brilliant. More. More money for us, basically. We're just making, we're making bank in the Shire. Absolutely making money. What do you have to sell? Uh, we got orange juice and some food, but yeah. Nothing too interesting. We can just get food and stuff from your chests. Hope you don't mind. You didn't use all. I've got a sheriff. We're allowed. I've got a sheriff, okay? The sheriff will beat you if they find out that you're trying to accuse me of stealing, which I am totally not stealing anything or anything, so. Sorted. Let's leave. That's my catchphrase now, sorted. I say it a lot. Let's leave. Come on. Back on the road we need to get. Just out the back of the tavern. Very flowery, these white downs. And it stopped raining. Hooray, we can enjoy the Shire in its beautiful glory. I swear nearly every thumbnail's been in the rain now. We are going the wrong way. We need to go south. Well, west, westerly direction. Well, yeah, we are making it through the white downs. I like the white downs. They're very beautiful. That's quite a nice screenshot as well. There we go. It just saves me having to log in and teleport myself around the place to take screenshots for the thumbnail if I take them in the episode. So I'm sorry if it does annoy you that I keep taking screenshots. But it's just what, yeah. It's either that or do some cheaty magic to get myself to nice places for screenshots. Because more than likely I'm going to end the episode in a place that's not really very nice for screenshots. Because that's just how it happens, really. Wow, the white downs are actually quite huge. We're going to make it, though. We're only 20 minutes in, so... Ooh, that was a burp. I apologise. Very professional. I know. You don't have to tell me that. Let's go. Wow. Let's... Oh, don't look at the sun. Hello, Dora. We need to get some good gear for Dora as well. Maybe we could give her the Iron da Dragger. Or... No, we can't give her the Iron Dragger. The Idon Dragger. Can't give her that. She can just have a normal Iron Dagger. 
So question, if I hit a deer, will she start to- it, she does. Good job, Dora. I am very impressed. So we basically now have a hunting buddy. You, you do, you do realise where we're going, right? We are going all the way to the Blue Mountains, and I hope you don't die. How what do you say to that? Good day. It will be a good day. It will be many days, but I mean, can't do much about it, can we? We're 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 going. I've not got a spare bed, so you're gonna have to sleep on the floor. I'm sure you don't mind. Uh, or we'll just steal people's beds on the way past. And I know I'm having a conversation with. Um, a not real thing. I'm being law friendly. Leave me alone. Don't call me crazy for talking to a hobbit sheriff that doesn't exist. There's a house. We're going to steal from the house. Dory, you ready to come steal from the house? Let's go. Some random bricks up there. I saw them. Bushes in the road. This road. This road is very nice. I like this road. What do we have in the house today, I wonder? I love the white downs actually. It's, it's a very nice part of the Shire. I like the mountainous region. Of, well, mount I say mountainous. We're going to the Blue Mountains. That that will be mountainous. But you get what I'm trying to say. But with it being like up and down rather than just a flat Shire that we're used to. Don't mind me just stealing your things. I mean, you don't know either way what I'm doing. So yeah, we'll leave. Goodbye. Back to the road. And yes, I did actually remember where the road was this time. So, oh, that is a view and a half, isn't it? Wow. I'm not going to keep taking screenshots. I've got, I've got enough for what I need. Unless I find anything particularly interesting. I'm surprised we haven't encountered some sort of merchant yet. Maybe I just got lucky last episode. We could get a horse, but we don't have a saddle. But we could, yeah, we don't have anything to craft a saddle either. We'll wait to get a saddle until we get a horse. I mean, we'll probably get a horse from Rohan whenever we do venture there, but that is far off. So we're not making any plans for now. Oh, my voice is getting a little scratchy, so... I'm going to do the most unprofessional thing. Go away from my mic and become really quiet for you guys. Come back. There we go. <sighs> Got a drink. I am the most unprofessional YouTuber ever now. You can all unsubscribe and dislike the video. D please don't. In fact, like the video and subscribe if you're not already. Because, yeah, I don't care about being professional. I like it being raw uncut content of us wandering through the white downs we've also made it almost made it to the other side we are well on our way from leaving the shire which is a good thing i mean it's taken us three episodes to venture across the shire and when we come end up coming back to venture back through the shire it will probably take us less than three episodes because we won't be stopping every five minutes at different shops we're just going to be walking and talking uh, when we venture back through the Shire on our way back from uh, over here in the Blue Mountains. We're not going to venture over to the islands. There's nothing on them. But coming back down this road, well, for, it took us uh, three episodes to get from here to here. But we stayed around this, episode, this area for quite a while. And only really this episode we sort of, these last two episodes we sort of come down here. So... Won't take us too long to cross the Shire next time. And wow, it's going to be a nice sunset here. Wow. This is a lovely place. Now let's hope nothing spawns in the White Downs. I doubt it. I highly doubt it because we're in the Shire. But you know it's possible. It's very possible, but extremely unlikely. And I doubt it will. And what an orange sky. It looks lovely. That's what I love about this mod. They don't just enhance the game by adding stuff. They also enhance the visuals as well. Making it feel more earthly. More what well, real. I mean, it's still in blocks and stuff, but it's beautiful. And that's something about the aesthetic of Minecraft that you don't really get with many other games. It's very unrealistic to the point of it looking realistic, realistic enough to be beautiful. Which I appreciate. 
and walking through the White Downs is certainly a nice way to spend my afternoon. That sounded really sad. If you guys don't know already, I live in the middle of nowhere and all of the terrain around my actual house in real life I've explored over the 13 years that I've lived here. So please excuse the fact that I'm having fun exploring Minecraft blocky terrain and calling it beautiful. I have nowhere else to explore at this point. Considering I'm not old enough to drive or really go anywhere because I don't have any money to get the train or anything. But a bus besides the point. I'm going to enjoy walking through this terrain, and I'm going to like it. Should we kill an Auruk? Let's kill an Auruk. Auruk. It's charging at me. Dora. Oh, for goodness sake, Dora, help. Dora, get it in the bum. We did it. Good job. Let's put the steak away. We don't want the steak, but we'll keep the leather and the, the horn as well. We don't want the, the raw steak, because we got loads of cooked steak. Well, that was fun. We killed a cow. It's not much else we can really say to that. How far through the White Downs are we? Oh, we're outside the White Downs. We're back into the Shire on our way to Greenholm. So the White Downs, that was a fun crossing. Not, not much really happened. Didn't take too long either. We may end up leaving the Shire in this episode, actually. We might. Depends. We will see. We will see how far we actually end up going in the next half an hour. But we could, vet, uh, basically, next episode, we will be in Ariador, so. Is it Ariador or Ariador? I don't know. Comment down below if you pronounce it Ariador or Ariador. Or Eridor. Eridor sounds quite familiar. I'm going to keep saying Ariador because it sounds cool. Oh, there's an orchard. I'm not going to raid the orchard. Is that uh No, it's not. Remember the broken seagulls? we encountered last season, if you're still watching from last season. Wow, they were broken. Apparently they've been fixed though, I think. I, th I think their spawn rates have been nerfed a little bit, which is good because they are annoying birds. A horse just suffocated in a tree. I have no words for that uh, other than why the long face. Probably because it just suffocated in a tree. There's lots of hobbits around now, which is good. We're back in the Shire. There weren't so many hobbits in the White Downs, I noticed. Hello. Oh, that's Dora. Just turning up out of nowhere. Give me a jump scare. Oh, wow, well, you couldn't have chosen a better place for your orchard, just interrupting the path. When are we going to get more quests, is what I want to know. When are we going to get more quests? Oh, hobbit holes. I'm not going to raid all of them, I'm just going to raid this one, which is close to the path. And then we're going to go for that house over there. We're not going to go venturing, because we will never stop. I'm just going to get this one, uh, the Gamage Hollow. Hello, hello. What do you have for me to take? I am the salesperson, you sell me things. Hello? Hello. I, I think we can stop collecting string now, personally, considering we've got a stack of the stuff. So string is now not a priority, we'll leave string in here, but as soon as we get stacks of items, we stop. We'll get a stack of most things. There are certain things I am ignoring there. Put it down, come on. What do we have, what do, what do you have for me? Let's put the carpet back. What do you have for me to steal? Ooh, lots and lots and lots of mushroom pie for me. Thank you very much. I wonder, will the Hobbit Sheriff attack other Hobbits? We're not going to try it. We're not going to try brutally killing different types of Hobbits. No, we're not going to do that. Let's just drive by punch a baby horse. Oh dear. I forgot. Dora, leave the horse alone. <laughs> I just sort of punched it. You didn't have to go stab it with a dagger. I know that's what I've hired you for, but wow, this... A hobbit. This house is embedded in the ground quite a bit. I mean, it is a hobbit, but it's not a hobbit hole. It's a hobbit house. There we go. We've got more stuff. Anything else for me? Books and paper. Nothing really else. Nothing else that we really need. And why is it now that we get a stack of string when we don't actually need it? And we've got our backpack that we had to grow flax for to get string. I'm never growing flax again, by the way. 
Growing flax is the most laborious task. I'm never growing things again in this game, even though I probably will have to at some point for something. But getting the flax needed for this big backpack was really, really tedious and just not fun. I did not have a good, good relationship with growing flax, especially when rabbits in the Shire kept coming and just ruining my day by eating all of the crops. It just wasn't fun. So, yeah, I wouldn't recommend growing flax. Get your string by killing spiders instead. But that would, of course, mean venturing to Mirkwood or something, which, again, I probably would recommend if you've got gear, but if you like me. Maybe stick to growing flax, but depends. Would you want a risk of death or... Well, actually, both of a risk of death, because growing flax, you risk dying from boredom. What do I do here? Like, your house is not very practical, is it, little hobbits? There we go. Let's let's make your house look... There. That'll do. Let's actually make your house accessible. Hello, you've got leaves on your floor. You you obviously haven't been outside for a very, like in a, in a while, so yeah, we're coming to take some of your items off your hands. Oh, queer behaviour by Prissa Maggot. Let's read this. Let's get the feathers. Okay, so we got another we got another book. Uh, my dear Philibert, I hear you have been showing some rather queer habits lately. Now, I know you are just still barely just a tween, but our family are very well thought of around these parts, and venturing outside the borders of the Shire is no way to uphold the good reputation of the family name. Just the other day, I was sitting in the Ugly Wizard when I overheard Ever Everard and Rosa talking about how you are going on adventures and how you have been settling a bad example for young hobbits. Setting a bad example for young hobbits. I had to reassure them that they must have misheard something for such a respectable young fellow as yourself would have no interest in going on adventures. This is all I have to say for now. I, will do, I do hope you will come to your senses. <laughs> Poor Philibert. He just wants to go adventuring. Like, I should, We should try and find Philibert and take him with us. Let's keep that in there with our other stuff. With the Eidon Dagger. <laughs> oh, for goodness sake. Right. Let's let's put the memento pouch back. Who are you? Are you you are Prissa Mugwort and you are Dora well that's Dora. Where's where where's the other one? Rowan. Where's Philibert? Did you kill they killed Philibert? They've murdered Philibert. I will never forgive them. We've got to leave. We were never part of this. I want to take Philibert with us. But we will never find him because he's dead. He's been made into the book. It's just a cover up. Actually, we may find Philibert <laughs> off on our adventures if he's leaving the borders of the Shire. He's either dead or just off somewhere. We may bump into him. Doubt it though, he's probably dead. I think he's dead. Comment down below if you think Philibert is dead. And it will tell me that you got this far into the video. Where are we? We're almost, we're about halfway between the White Downs and Greenhome. So we're actually very nearing the borders of the Shire. They must have thought if they didn't like queer folk from distant lands and going out and stuff with queer behaviour, they probably wouldn't like me, random wanderer, being followed by an enslaved hobbit sheriff, both wearing feathered hats, smoking with my hobbit pipe, just turning up and stealing their letter to Philibert, who's also a queer folk apparently. Yeah, they probably wouldn't have enjoyed that. Well, we've got some identical twins here. We have got Elfston Chubb and... And the other ones over here. I thought he did a magic trick on me there. And Rudiger Whitford. You're, you're, you have different names, but you look the exact same. Got a mounted sheriff up there. They, hopefully they don't see me. What's Dora doing in the hole? Come on, Dora. Come on, Dora. We're almost at Greenholm. Someone's smoking over here. Should we join in? Let's show off our smoking skills. There we go. We got one in the face. Ten points. 
Right. Let's keep going. Not far now. We're actually almost at Green Home. We're getting there. We will get there by the end of this episode. I know we will. Got an itchy nose. There we go. Sorted myself out. I mean, if I had live streamed this, it would have been fun to have the interaction. But again, as I said in the first episode, live streaming wouldn't have just been an option. It's very hard to get an hour on my own anyway to record this. Whereas live streaming at like a reasonable time for people would just be difficult. And if something was to go wrong, everyone would, in the live stream would know about it. So I prefer just uploading it and allowing everyone to catch it whenever they want rather than having it live. I'm responding to the comments in episodes after they've been released. We've got another house down here, look. Oh no, it's a barn. Ooh, we haven't seen a barn in a while. Hello, hello. What's going on in here? What did we just walk in on? I'm not going to question it. Hello, hello, hello. You look kind of like... You look like Dora. Trade. Trade. Okay. Dora, the farmers are harming me because I threw a conqueror at them. We killed them, it's okay. I should stop killing hobbits by accident. Got two hobbit bones now. I need to learn. I killed your twin, Dora. I killed your twin. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. I'm very sorry. Oh, it's Quest. Hello, hello. Three, three apple crumble? Who's going to eat three? Mm, I'm not getting you three apple crumble. I don't have three apple crumble. And if I did, I would have eaten it. Because apple crumble is the best. Actually, I take that back. Apple and black currant is the best. Uh, what are you? Eight cherries. How many cherries do we have? I don't think we have eight cherries. How many do we have? Three cherries. I'm sorry. You're out of luck. I've only got three. It's tough for now. Who's drinking? What are you drinking for? Dora, that better not be you. You better not be drinking on the job. Right. Have you got any quests for us? No. They've not got any quests for us either. Where are we? Oh, we're literally right next to Greenhome. Come on then. Right on the western borders of the Shire. We're going to be leaving the Shire in this episode, so. Oh, it's dark as well. We're going to have some fun. Let's hope we find some Dunedain that can protect us. Do some quests for them. Kill some things. Get some action, rather than just walking. Because as fun as walking through the Shire is, it's only so much Shire one can take. Isn't that right, Dora? Dora's so going to die by the end of this episode if we leave the Shire. We are going to lose Dora. It's inevitable. Like, we should start digging Dora's grave right now, but I don't have a shovel. Sorry, Dora, I'm not digging your grave. I'll remember you, Dora. When you do eventually die. She won't be on purpose, I promise. Let's keep going. We're not... Stop scaring me. Otherwise, I will kill you in a minute. How far into the night are we? Oh, good. The moon's just setting. So it might be daytime when we leave the Shire. Which is good. Then we can start stealing things from the Dunedain, which... I'm not sure if they're going to be happy, happy with that. But we're not going to raid many more houses anymore. We've got plenty of food and stuff. And we got a nice, nice bit of money from Hobbits. But we'll get more money from the Dunedain and such. So... I will only go into houses if they're sort of easily accessible, but we are literally... Oh, wow. Okay, we're going into the far downs now. The Ariador Downs. Ooh, okay. This is the last house of the Shire by the looks of things. And I think we should try and sleep in it. Because <laughs> I don't want to particularly be ambushed by orcs at all in any way, shape or form. You, sir, are living dangerously. Let's have a look at who lives in here. It looks like Frodo. Oh, of course it's the Sackvilles. The Sackvilles, of course. I knew there was always some sort of orc in them. There's a large pouch. Very nice. We should make the large pouch for something. 
What should we have in, in this large pouch? Should we put bones? No. Doesn't seem like an awfully good thing. Let's hold on to that. And we will put stuff in it when, as and when we need to. What do you have in here as well? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not bothering. We're going to leave. Oh, we went to sleep as well. So we don't get ambushed by orcs. And then we're going to enter the Eriador Downs. Let's go. Okay. We are ready to step outside the borders of the Shire. We are ready. Goodbye. Bowman Proudfoot. You will be the last hobbit we ever speak to. Actually, no, you are going to be. Goodbye, Bob. <laughs> Bob the Hobbit. <laughs> Goodbye, Bob. We've left. We are no longer in the Shire. We have said goodbye. And we are finally in Eriador. So Tower Hills is our next, our next venture. Let's hope we don't get killed on our ventures this time. Let's really hope we don't get killed. I think I might be able to squeeze in two episodes recorded today and release two episodes. Would you guys like me to release two episodes today? I think you will. I think I might try to do two episodes. That is a good idea. We'll see anyway. We will see. Depends how long this one takes to edit and upload. But wow, well, these roads are not looked after in Ariador. We haven't come across another living being, another living thing, apart from me and Dora here so far. So it's eerily quiet, is what I'm saying. I think Dora agrees with me, because she's always quiet, so she knows quiet when she is quiet. But this is eerily quiet. I like this path, though. Seems very... Seems like it was very nice at one point, a very nice road. What's that? Just a big rock. It's strange that I haven't seen any anything that lives. Oh, there we are. Got some wild boar. Okay, things can live here. On a butterfly. And a rabbit. Wow, it's so eerily quiet. It's kind of scaring me, to be honest. We haven't encountered anything that looks remarkably human. Is what I'm kind of scared about. There's nothing that looks remotely intelligent. We haven't been in here long, but it's already given me the creeps birds and things. That's literally the only noise we've heard apart from my own footsteps and talking. It's just a bird. Let's keep ourselves fed up. This hasn't got much durability either, this Danish battle axe. If this breaks on me, I have to go back to the Eidon Dagger. And that isn't a Pretty, that is just not a good weapon, so let's hope we find some Dunedain and be able to steal a few. Oh, we could turn that other pouch into a weapons pouch. Let's do that. Large pouch. Weapons pouch. Equipment pouch. Equipment pouch. We're not going to put the Idon dagger in here, though. That's staying as a memento. Because that is just funny. More than anything. Oh! It's a bandit. Time to pay. Let's kill the bandit. Come on. Get him. Get him. Dora, go! Yes, Do Dora. Good job. There's another one. Come on, Dora. We can do this. They got little daggers. Yes, Dora. Yes, Dora. Dora, no! 
Dory, I'll save you. Oh, Dory, you're hurt. Dora. Can't just charge in at bandits like that. I know your job is to protect me, but you just... Who are you going to get get yourself killed? It's just a plant. Okay, we've got to look out for movements. I don't want to get jumped by bandits again, because you will die, Dora. Wow, okay. Oh, we've got a, we've got a stack of these little coins. We've got to top it back up again now. There we go. Right. Quick, can you put pouches inside of pouches? No. You can put pouches inside of backpacks. Which is a good thing. Wow. Well, I wasn't expected to get jumped by bandits. I thought they were doing a I was like, oh, people. Oh, no, bandits. We sorted them out, though. And Dora, I'm glad we hired Dora. We would have been dead otherwise. Thank you so much. Talk. On duty, Chief. Yep, correct. Chief with the blue hat is what my name is. Still haven't found anyone else. Just a couple bandits and a little bit of ruin here. Hopefully we'll find something else. Or someone else, rather. Because we have gone rather far. Well, as soon as we get into the proper big bit of Aridor rather than the Aridor Downs, hopefully we'll run into some Dunedai. And I say that with a lot of hope, because I don't particularly fancy getting absolutely killed. So. I heard that. That was an orc. He's at me. Keep wits about you, Dora. It's a little noise as well. I'd assume they were underground. Okay, so we're we're leaving the downs now. Actually going into Aridor. Over the bridge. Oh, that's a steep drop. Careful, Dora. By careful. I... Dora. Okay, good. We're on the bridge. A pretty useless bridge, if you ask me. But wow, we are in a big chasm at the moment. We're in a big valley. A very, very tall valley. That's what I'm saying. Oh, that's a tree. Thought it was a structure, but no, it was a tree. Got a little confused there for a second, and wow. Yeah. Ariador has some big hills in it. We're on the Great East Road, and we're heading over to Tower Hills to Olosterion. Olosterion is where we're heading. Over the next two episodes, I think. Over this ep the rest of this episode and next episode. And then hopefully next episode we will reach Elosterion. And then we will be able to head straight through to self, uh, to the uh, Linden portion of it. We'll go up into Blue Mountains. And then back round. And then do a loop, basically. I'll make our way back over. And then we'll sort of do this little bit here. The Barrow Downs and that. And head over to Breland and stuff. But well, that's all for the future, as for this episode. We are wandering. We are back to being wandering travellers in this cave here. Don't see any orcs in the way. I think we're safe with that cave. But it's when it gets night time is it's going to be the problem. That was a spiky plant, I hope. Unless Dora turned on me. Okay, so we have building, a tent. Do we dare go and face a tent on the side of a cliff? Of course we do, it's us. Gondora, we're going to visit the nice people in the tent, who are probably going to be orcs and are probably going to kill us. Actually, there could be a Dunedain tent, but if they're orcs, we're going to slay them. It's a singular tent. Looks to be an orc camp. Not much in it. But I don't see any other tents with this camp, so... 
mess that up further. Use the skull as jump. Yeah, I, d I don't think we're going to find much else there. So let's get back down and not harm ourselves. I said not harm ourselves because we may encounter orcs. Or worse. Birds. No, I don't know. Orcs are probably the worst thing we could encounter out here. Especially as it gets dark. What are you swimming for? There's... Of course there's rain as well. I mean, that's just lovely. Rain is exactly what we need in this dire... This diabolical environment. Which isn't actually that bad. The Brownlands are what's bad. And even worse is Mordor, obviously. We will get there eventually. But we'll have to try and skirt it quite quickly. Because I'm not planning to be pretty friendly with those. So I'm going to be friendly with the nice people. We'll go through with an army. See how many of them actually make it out. Probably none. But how far are we getting? We're getting decently far. Got about 10 minutes left of the episode. Let's see. Let's just see how far we can get in 10 minutes. This pattern I'm noticing with Eriador is there's lots of bridges. And hopefully no bad guys apart from the odd bandit. So we don't really have much to fight with. Well, we do have much to fight with. We've got an axe and Dora. Dora's under the bridge. We may not have Dora, but we have an axe. It's armor that we're missing, so I'm hoping we can find armor from some Dunedain. I'm praying for Dunedain armor. Well, this bridge is just a bit half half completed, isn't it? Was it, it? I don't even think it was necessary. Hello, Dora. You get confused by bridges, don't you, Dora? No, actually, if we're in... Why are we minus seven with the Dunedain? It must have been from killing hobbits. Yep, yeah, I think it was from killing hobbits. Uh, we gotta go and kill some orcs in the night time to make up for that then, I guess. Yeah, everything else is fine except we're plus with hobbits and minus with Dunedain, right? Before we find Dunedain, let's kill seven orcs. I think that would be smart. That definitely would be smart. Because Dunedain, we don't want to be on the bad side of at all. So, orcs, come out, come out wherever you are. Or do I have to come find you in the caves? I think we're going to go find some orcs in this cave up here. And we're going to slay them. And probably get somewhat slain in the process. Are we feeling br We're feeling brave. Let's do it. Why not? <gasps> you scared the life out of me, Dora. Stop it. I don't like this cave, actually. It's not a very easy way out. Hello? No orcs? Alright then. Bye bye. We will leave and we'll wait for it to become night time. And then at night time we will kill things. And we should probably try and get back on the bridge. I hear it. I hear it. I hear it. Okay. Where is this? Where is this orc that we can hear? Where are you? That's confused me. Well, I guess we'll again wait for night time. Maybe there's a cave below it. Ah, I I don't have time. 
I don't have the time or the patience to find orcs like this. And I don't have time or patience to get stuck on a bridge. There we go. We'll wait for the knight to come to us and the orcs to come to us for us to become positive with Dunedain because... Let's just hope we don't find Dunedain before we find... We fi uh, before we find the orcs. Because that wouldn't be good at all, would it? That would actually be diabolical. We will find orcs as soon as it gets dark. Any problem is we don't know when it's going to get dark because rain. And there is no sun when there's rain, so I can't, it's very difficult to tell. Very difficult to tell indeed. Well, I think that would be a good place to end this episode. Under these trees, sheltering from the rain, waiting for it to become night time, and where's Dora? There's Dora. Anyway, thank you. Fine then, don't be in the shot. I'll come back this way. Bye, Dora. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Minecraft The Lord of the Rings Overhill. In the next episode, we will be fighting orcs and becoming positive with the Dunedain. So, yeah, that's all I've really got to say. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.